Anna said there are two groups of people that the call to arms is targeted at, the youth and ex-military and police personnel. But I think the likelihood of the youngsters going is not as good as in South Africa where you have a 55, 56 year old guy who has been battle hardened and that's what he lives for. Also, you know, uh, not, not having a very good pension, for instance, on this side, and then not trying to augment and this is, it might seem, see that as a quick opportunity to, to, to augment his pension and his retirement. In terms of recruiting youngsters, it appears some might have already heeded the call, but there's no evidence that they're from Africa. Over the uh, past month or past few weeks that some of these youth that did arrive in the Ukraine, they were afforded some training and they were also then equipped with weapons. We can't see that these people will then be deployed to, to, uh, to fight in the front ranks against this, uh, the, the Soviets. We can see that they will maybe be deployed to your guarding and all the other sort of less uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, dangerous or, or skilled post uh, uh, opportunities that they will have there. Ex-military personnel have different reasons that would make them consider going to Ukraine. They could fulfill a training role if considered too old for combat. That is a very, a very good likelihood because of all their vast experience. Not only re remember, uh, they, there are some some uh, some rumors or some indication that uh, some Syrians have joined and are going to join from the side that fought against these people on the one side. So for for the Ukrainians now to bring in this experienced people to train and to share their knowledge and to mentor these youngsters, there is a very big likelihood that that might happen. There's also some concern that once the ex-soldiers return from Ukraine, they could be recruited into rebel forces in some African countries. These people are battle-hardened. What they have been or will be exposed to uh, when they go over and fight, fight in these battles, and they survive, they come back, they will be battle-hardened. And uh, they, the risk is always there that they might then be taken up into some of these uh, rebel groups or other militant groups uh, that might be in some of these countries. It's unlikely that the youngsters are going to take up the call. It's more likely that we'll see mercenaries take it up for a fee.